item number 14 updates on North Star Lake, the Jolly Trolley, and MPTA. Chair and the commissioners. Trolley. I'll start with the trolley first, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Jolly Trolley actually, every December in the history you know, in the past couple of years since I've been here, we had an event called Fill the Flyer. So essentially, this is the same event, but this time we call it Jolly Trolley because we're actually going to use the trolley this time instead of an actual new flyer bus. So the trolley would be... Lowering expectations is not a big one. <laughs> <laughs> smaller. Well, hopefully, it's hopefully you get a yeah, smaller bus the full, yeah. full of groceries instead of a bigger bus that looks empty with half of groceries. <laughs> then we have a smaller vehicle now, so hopefully we can stuff it. It always look crowded. So <clears throat> we're just going to try something different this year. So we're going to use the trolley, give the trolley some exposure, <coughs> give it some use. So December 5th to the 10th, we will be at different supermarkets here in the St. Cloud, Way Park, Sartell, and Salt Rapids area. December 5th, we will be at the Coburns or Cooper. December 6th, we will be at Cashwise East. December 7th, we will be at Lens and Byerly's. December 8th, we will be at Coburns or Salt Rapids. December 9th, we will be at the Coburns or Sartell. And December 10th, we will be at the Walmart and Sartell. And I'll send you guys an email too, just as a reminder, in case you guys might be out and about between the times of 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. If you go into Coburns or any one of these locations, you could buy a perishable item and just Fill the trolley. Well, fill the jolly trolley. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing, the Minnesota Public Transit Association, they're going to host the 2017 uh, annual conference will be held at the River's Edge Convention Center October 16th to the 18th. And once again, uh, since you know, we're the local agency, we're, look, you know, we're looking to partner with MIPTA. We're going to do like, a lot of interactive sessions, do a lot of tours, you know, maybe do some kind of CNG training or some kind of CNG demonstration. We'll showcase the mobility center. So we're just looking to do you know, some things different just to bring the exposure to not only the conference, but bring exposure to Metrobus. Look at the unique things that we're doing here in the community as well. And with that, the tradition, <coughs> the mayor of the city, like last this, this year was in Rochester, so the mayor of Rochester gave the welcome remarks on the actual, you know, during the general session, which normally happens the Tuesday morning during breakfast. So this Tuesday, well, not this Tuesday, the Tuesday of the conference, which will be October 17th, I'm pretty sure MIPDA will reach out to you to see if you're available to come and deliver the welcome message. Welcome to, you know, the state of Minnesota transit systems to St. Cloud. Welcome them to the conference and we should say a few words. a little words. bit more advanced notice to, to Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 that was my determination. This calendar is pretty tight. <laughs> 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 It's kind of asleep, <laughs> That's right. I'm going to be worried about what I'm going to say. <laughs> He's kind of in demand. <laughs> right, right. So I'll send you a 12 month reminder. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. I just wanted to put it out there as being oh. that we just came from the conference here just a couple weeks ago in Rochester. Oh. And then the last thing, uh, the North Star Executive Meeting had the annual executive meeting, actually. Well, not the annual, the quarterly meeting a couple weeks ago. And as you, know, as you guys are aware, the North Star Committee is actually going to actually do away with the actual committee. So moving forward, uh, North Star and Metrobus, well not so much Metrobus, but we're going to have master operating agreements with each of the four counties now moving forward. So we have an operating agreement with Mendot, uh, uh, Stearns County, Sherburn County, and Local County, Hennepin County. And as far as the capital is concerned, starting next year, we're going to have an agreement with Stearns County for three new North Star Link buses. And then 2018, Sherwin County will provide us two buses, you know, the joint partnership with uh, Midnight and Stearns for 2017 and Midnight and Sherwin for 2018 moving forward. So that's what we're in the process now, we're just trying to work, see how this stuff is going to look out, how this stuff is going to play out, I should say, starting January 1st, because that's where the fiscal year starts. Their calendar year is actually starts, you know, their fiscal year, uh, January 1st, 2017. So, did I miss anything? No? See, smile and sack, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a process that you know we just have to go through now. So we have to, you know, the, the sample agreement that we are looking at to make sure everything is right as far as payment of funds and how everything is going to, you know, play out here moving forward. But an essential, long story short, there will be no more North Star Committee. It will be we will have an agreement with each one of the four counties. And if, as far as the capital is concerned, Stearns County will be providing the 20% local share for the three buses with the 80% for MnDOT, and then 2018, it'll be Sherwin County for the two buses along with MnDOT. But we can't do anything until we get the final approval, which will probably be starting, you know, January 2017. Maybe we can probably start the process once everything, we get the green light from both parties, and we can start the process to, you know, do the bus procurement. And if all goes well, 
worst case scenario, we should probably have three new buses here. I want to say maybe August of next year, if all goes well. Mr. Chair, I have a question. <clears throat> Benton County elected not to participate? Yeah, that was before my time. I don't okay. think Benton County ever wanted to join the, the North Star Committee. North Star? Yeah, they're, they're yeah, not involved they in this. No, anymore. They, that was a long that's, time ago. They, yeah. they, they, yeah. right, they didn't want to be ago. part of the original rail authority or the um, North Star. Hmm. Okay. That's your mission. Just the county. <laughs> okay. Has anybody approached them? Or the Cedar Rapids Bridge. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just sure. go down the list. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Has anybody approached them recently? Yeah, I don't. With the I changes, don't, I don't know formally that the NCDA has approached Benton County. I think okay. informally there's been some conversations between <clears throat> administrations and, and, and county board members, but uh, Benton still just says they don't have any interest. They should, but they don't. Yeah, okay. Maybe There's no, no writers from Sock Rapids or Benton County. the largest city in Benton County could I don't know who that is. I don't know who that would be either, <laughs> but I really don't, wouldn't want that job. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> At least this year. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. But that's all I had. Any, uh, Kim, uh, did, Kim, did you have something? Yeah. Um, ask Lee Lensmeyer. He's, he's got a lot of, he was chair of that committee. Oh, okay. Underly. Yep, underly. <coughs> All right, seeing no other business, um, I have a motion to adjourn. So, second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, we are adjourned. And at 4 31.